This week in AQ3D, the action figures are coming soon. Both the action figures will be priced at $20 each plus shipping. And they will also come with black variants. There are only a thousand of each of them. And they are $50 plus shipping and are extremely rare. The stop action video was released by Counter656. And also, Baleen's Adventure Quest 3D motion capture test was released. Also, last night at 5 p.m. server time, Hero Mart released limited edition dragon painting. It was signed and numbered by Dage of the Evil, and it was $25 each plus shipping, and there were only 500 of them. It also includes the Dage of the Evil's Lich Lord set in-game for Adventure Quest Worlds. Mmm, nothing goes better in the morning than a fresh cup of... Do this? Yes, yeah, And um, fight when it's hot. And the character can jump away to do a squat. Jump with jacks. Hey everyone, this week in Adventure Quest Worlds, the Dage of the Evil Dark Caster X Shop is still available for a limited time. You can get this to prepare for the extermination this summer, the Dage of the Evil vs. Nalgeth War. Also, Doomwood. Part 2, Whispers of the Darkness Lord, starts next week. And we can catch up with what happened last time on Doomwood by clicking the previously in Doomwood. Also this week, the members get a Sky Guard update.
which is taking forever to load. The release went live like 10 minutes ago. Usually never takes this long. And that is the Adventure Quest World's release. This week in Epic Duel, the Delta Knight armor for the new promotional package is going live. It's going to feature a different look for each class that will introduce a game-changing armor. Also, the mods have been selected, and you, if you were selected, you should receive an email very shortly. Also, Disturbed has joined the Epic Duel team, and the next story arc to be releasing in Epic Duel is the Infernal Infiltration Saga with a re-ramped war system coming soon. This week in Hero Smash, we're going to have a battle pole update. The heavy leather style is in the lead with 37%, followed by the steel and tonic style with 36%. If you want to see the designs over again, you can click on the hall droid, go to the news, and here's the sketch of the heavy leather style, and here's the sketch of the steel and tunic style. I actually hope that the heavy leather style wins, so I'm going to be playing PvP to help get the heavy leather style to win. This week in Dragon Fable, the hunt begins. Wargoth has come through the portal to lore, and our only hope is to find the Professor. This week, the hunt begins for the mysterious man who helped to save the Atera and may have doomed lore. Also, the new DC set will be made available. The new metal weapons will boost your damage against dragons by 10%, and if you have the whole set equipped, it will boost your damage against dragons by 30%. Hey there everyone, in non-Arctic's entertainment related news, Cyan Productions have released Color Burst. This is, pre it pretty much looks what, like, put the record on. You're loading the character. So far the Force 4 missions are in game. I actually started out the Force.
To check out the game, go to cyamp.com slash colorburst.